time. A growing firestorm of allegations by workers at a Wentzville facility that processes paper applications for Obamacare. Taxpayers were paying big bucks for salaries for workers who say they actually did little or no work for all the money you were paying. Here's You Paid For It investigator Elliot Davis with the very latest. Elliot. Well, Sandy, most of Missouri's congressmen have called for a federal investigation of workers' claims. Senator Claire McCaskill has written to Health and Human Services to get to the bottom of this and see if what workers are saying about doing little or no work for your money is true. Workers weren't commenting when I went out to the Wentzville facility today. I asked for a company representative. A guard slipped me a note with the name and number of Circle's national spokesman on it. Circle hired 600 workers last year to handle paper applications for the Affordable Care Act, but some claim there weren't enough applications coming in to provide work for all those people. Circle got a billion-dollar contract from the government. It operated one processing site here and in two other states. The government paid them in part by the number of workers they had. I talked to one former worker today who said most of the workers had nothing to do. She got $15 an hour. She asked me to conceal her identity for fear of jeopardizing her current job. It's how many applications I had a week. Mm -hmm. Sometimes one, sometimes two. For the entire week? For the entire week. And you said you guys would play games just to pass. What kind of games would you play? To pass? We play Trivia Pursuit, um, Hangman, uh, Will of Fortune, games like that. Our supervisor would lead us all in the team game. And the team was about 20, 20 employees. And this was all while you were being paid by the company, which was being paid by taxpayers? Yes, I was paid $15 an hour to do nothing. All on the taxpayer's dime. All on the taxpayer's dime. Now, both Senators McCaskill and Blunt said they've also heard from whistleblowers with similar stories of getting paid for little work. I called the company spokesman several times and even emailed him, but so far, he hasn't gotten back to me. I'll keep you posted on any new developments. After all, you paid for it. Elliot Davis, Fox News. All right, Elliot, thank you. Taking a live look at...